Sometimes you just need a mid-level boss to wait for your party in the throne room of a haunted castle and brutalize your players with good old-fashioned hand-to-hand combat. Enter the Death Knight. Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We're printing our way through the D&D Monster Manual, and today we're looking at this understated but still menacing Death Knight from Flesh of Gods. Usually I like my miniatures to be in some kind of action pose, but there was just something about the way this guy was just standing there, waiting for action. Uh, You can see that there are some great details in his armor, there's some underlying chainmail, and I love that his weapons are oversized, but they're not overdone. And there are so many Death Knights available on my mini factory, especially if all you're really looking for is a menacing knight-like figure, it's really easy to find something cool. Uh, Here's a cool one from Comet Lord Miniatures. Here's a four pack from Epic Miniatures. There's this guy with his insane sword from DM Stash. And this giant here from 3D Art Guy. And if you expand your horizons a little bit, then you can get this guy from Lord of the Print. Or this one from Loot, which is actually listed as a hero, but I think this would make a really great Death Knight. So, I mean, honestly, a Death Knight is probably as flexible as any monster when it comes to picking one that fits your campaign. I picked this one from Flesh of Gods because it was a little more understated. And it's kind of, I imagined a party walking around a corner and he's just standing there waiting for them like Hannibal Lecter. So you can see he's about eight to nine feet tall. He comes with a base. There were no issues at all with the print. At $5, he is a great deal. Uh, He's small enough that you're you're able to print him with other figures. So he brings our running totals to $215, and we're still sitting at 101 total hours of printing. I love this little guy. Lots of chaos to cause in such a small package. Uh, Next up, we're looking for a disembodied sorcerer, a Demi-Lich.